and welcome to the second episode of this podcast that we still don't have a name for. There are three things that I would love to apologize for right now, and that is the fact that uh, I'm posting this not on a Monday, for starters, because we're recording it the same day we post it, and work got in the way. Secondly, I don't have a webcam. That kind of sucks ass. I don't know. I guess they just decided to update the drivers, so I don't have them. Uh... And I forgot the third thing I was supposed to apologize for, so I, I guess it'll come to me. <laughs> anyway. Uh, he's lying. He's not sorry. Yeah, I'm not sorry. Fuck you guys. Um, <laughs> first things first that I kind of want to bring up is the uh, Mercury name change as a topic. Uh, I hate that. So apparently, uh, there was a guy that worked, uh, in the Overwatch team. His name was Jesse McCree. And mm -hmm. so apparently he fucking, after all these years, said, mm, I'm offended by this character's name because it's the same as mine. It's He's like the based one that off said of it? I think that's what he said. Cause like, why would Blizzard, why would they fucking change it? True. Like, he had to have had a problem with that, and I don't understand why. So I guess they're changing his fucking name, even though every single character has said McCree at least once in their fucking life. All the yep. fucking archives have to change, all the voice uh, lines have to change. the comics? All uh, the comics, oh my god, I forgot about those. The, uh... The, uh... Little animations they do on, uh, YouTube and whatnot. Mm-hmm. All that has to here. change, yeah. Just because this guy was like, mm, nah. Man, I like, hate Overwatch. That game's yeah, so fuck good, Overwatch. Man. I love Ash though. Just Ash kidding. I do love Overwatch so much. It's not even fair. <sighs> I mean, uh. It's just crazy, like, right after the whole Blizzard Activision shit for this to happen. True. Like, this seems oh, like yeah. the worst direction they could have taken after that. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, we just, like, pretty much got sued for, like, a huge majority of sexual harassment. Um, let's change mm -hmm. our favorite character's name. Mm -hmm. Like, no, it's ridiculous. So that was a little short topic that I thought I'd be able to talk about because I don't I still don't know a whole lot about it, but I, I just I'm I still gonna be call him McCree. Where everyone's gonna forever. call him McCree. No one is ever ever gonna not call him McCree. It's like I don't Unless understand. they're like new to the Wait, game when the Overwatch 2 comes out. They haven't oh, said we yet. Don't know yet. Yeah. Oh, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know yet. Huh. So uh sec secondly and before we uh even do this i just want to make sure like no one else has another little subtopic i want to talk about honk subtopic um you know it's only when you ask me that i just fucking blame <laughs> you just fucking blame yeah. all right, all right well, well we'll start with ours and then if it comes back to you we'll just circle back okay no you won't yeah, no, fuck you, Hawk. <laughs> um, so, recently, Alyssa and I have been playing uh, It Takes Two. And It Takes Two is a forced uh, oh. cooperative game. So, like, for some reason, even if you play online, it's still split screen. So you can see each other's screens yeah. at all time, which is, which is I thought neat. would be kind of annoying. I thought it would be annoying, but it's actually, like, fine. Yeah, especially um, for like helping each other out if we like get stuck. Like you can see, yeah, you can like see what they see and stuff like that. Um, that game is so deep; it's insane. It and is. The story so... is so great. I mean, or, yeah. No. I mean, not really. Like the story, story. the story is kind of consistent throughout. Like it's obviously yeah. like the same thing, it's same problem each time. Yeah. But like, just the, it's so deep in a way that like, uh, like they integrate so many cooperative things that you that they just said, oh, this is definitely gonna work, and it did. Like it's like holy shit. There's all these random aspects in this game that just make mm -hmm. it really, really good. 
Like, and it's so such a beautiful game too. Oh, it's gorgeous. That game is amazing. Like they have really good uh highlights. They have super fucking mm -hmm. good shadows in that game too. The the little puppets cool, that you play yeah. as are like super super <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, the kaleidoscope fucking oh my god, that shit fucked me up so bad. Oh yeah. <laughs> if I if I had one complaint about that game, it'd be the kaleidoscope yeah. part. That shit was awful <laughs> so anyway i <clears throat> i haven't played it but from the small small bit that i saw when elisa when Alyssa was sharing her screen kind of reminded me of that one game we played like forever ago i think it was me and you it was like uh diffusing a bomb yeah it's kind so um Another so think about a lot of the cooperative game. I love cooperative games. All right, I love not seeing the other person's screen and like having like that panic sets in when your life is on someone else's Dude, shoulders. That, that bomb game, it was it was fun. How like panic it would get, yeah. like it was stressful. Uh, there was so this there is this other game. I guess I'll just stem away from it takes two for a second. But there's this other game that we were playing before it takes two, uh, called Operation, Operation Tango. Tango yeah. And there is a portion of that. It was actually like literally the last fucking thing you do, which was mm -hmm. defusing like a bomb. Uh, and yeah, she yeah. and she had all the instructions, and I had to do it. And I was like, "Son of a bitch, I'm having flashbacks." <laughs> <laughs> It was exactly like that though too. It had wires. It had batteries. It had the fucking um, the codes and shit like the that. The codes, symbols, yeah. Codes, symbols, wire. Oh my gosh, it was a whole. The wire thing. thing was the most stress. We had three seconds left, and we yeah, we had like three seconds. Three left fucking seconds. <laughs> it sucked. That shit was whack. Um. So that so it's just like needless to say like co-op games like they need to come out with way more of those I feel like I mm -hmm. love uh Apex and I love obviously I love Apex uh and like just uh if they had a Ubisoft game that was like that because they mm -hmm. do super well with fucking uh, Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed in my opinion that is not a popular opinion by the way everyone fucking hates hates Watch Dogs really i've always really? wanted to play it yeah, i just it's didn't have good. a console when it was a big game so, so i, never got to I play will it. say in the newest one legion they completely changed up like how it's played like with the past two you kind of fall in love with the character you play as obviously uh mm -hmm. and obviously you just like progressively get better there's like a skill tree um but it's like a modern day Assassin's Creed, which is really sick. Uh, it's not there's not like a parkour aspect per se, but like you can like there's a really good stealth uh, aspect to it, and just hacking is really fun in general. Um, Legion is different in a way that like it's kind of like you unlock these other hackers and you can play as each individual hacker, and if a hacker dies, Ooh. they're gone for good. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it kind of sucks uh, in that aspect, but I'm sure like the actual gameplay is pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. You just you're just gonna want to play as a character, and as soon as that character dies, you're not gonna want to play it anymore. <laughs> yeah. So. So don't get attached. Yeah, so don't get attached. But um, yeah, if Ubisoft made like a co-op game that was like either Assassin's Creed themed or Watchdog dude a Watchdogs themed fucking cooperative would be insane. Ooh, that would be dope. Yeah, that would be really really cool. I'd um, play. Yeah, I'd really I'd definitely play that one. Um but yeah, dude, just cooperative as a fucking whole is amazing. I I love having my life in someone else's hands in a lot of different situations. Yeah. Surprisingly <laughs> yeah. Uh, as far as like this little review of It Takes Two goes, I honestly, out of like a t out of a ten, pr like easily, I, I it's honestly one of my favorite games. I I want to say yeah, a 10, I honestly. would I would put it a ten too. There's so many, <laughs> there's so many fucked up parts too. Like yeah, so... but it's hilarious also. Yeah, no, it's like you you feel uh 
So you kind of like feel this attachment and then like you feel this disconnection uh, of the two mm -hmm. characters and like you progressively feel them like warming up to each other or like you can like understand where they're coming from and where the other part like you're, you're literally going through couples therapy while doing this and yeah. it's like super good honestly. Couples this, I fuck those annoying ass <laughs> fucking excellence book. Haven't even finished it. Yet. It's amazing, <laughs> but I love it so much. Yeah, would already rate it ten out of ten. Would already rate it ten out of ten. There's like a Mortal Kombat squirrel scene that was awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's a hot take on fucking. Uh, it takes two. It takes two. Did you ever remember your shit, honk? Remember what shit? Never mind. <laughs> I guess you did it. Uh, all right. Um, I guess I think I'm gonna skip over to uh Spider Man because the embarrassing stories thing I feel like might spark whatever Hector uh wanted to talk about. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> a really embarrassing story that happened just last night but i don't know if i want that out in the world oh god boy did she put oh. it in what <laughs> I hope so. all right no yeah stay stay what, tuned stay tuned we, that's gonna be great what are we talking about what are we what talking, are we talking about? about what are we talking about <laughs> yes <laughs> um uh. Okay, so <laughs> shut the fuck. Up. <laughs> so, uh, Spider-Man: No Way Home might just be the best, um, uh, like fan fucking. This might just be the best thing for the fans that has ever happened since yeah. like, uh, Captain America catching Thor's fucking hammer. Like, yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> like this I is. How many moments? in the movie in the theater everyone's just gonna like scream like, like shit, shit like, their pants yeah like like when <laughs> thor's hammer and captain america fucking like that moment yeah yeah, oh, yeah. when he where he's like I can yes it. dude i i lost my shit when when <laughs> captain took that hammer mm -hmm. i wasn't expecting oh. it at all and yeah. when it kind happened, of was, was but not in that moment for sure yeah I oh my god! I wasn't god. expecting it at all. I was, oh like, really? I was, I was, so was especially after like the the after Age scene Ultron. credit when yeah, when he lifted it a, a little bit. Yeah. That was that was like five movies ago. Yeah, yeah that, was, that, but, that was Age of Ultron at that party. Yeah, but like still, like like that, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. like there was foreshadowing to, to it. it. There was foreshadowing, but I wasn't sure they were gonna like explore mm -hmm. that any deeper. Like what they did, and okay, that's what really threw me off. Like, I guess we're talking about this now instead of Spider Man. But so, did you know that? Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's an actual thing, but there was like a theory I saw about like he couldn't actually lift the hammer at that. It's not like he was faking it, he just wasn't worthy enough. Like, he was worthy, he just wasn't 100% worthy at that time. And then once it came out in Civil War, that he knew that Bucky killed um, Tony's parents, like, once that all came out, like, that was the one thing, or the one secret or whatever that uh, Steve held Rogers was hiding that held him back from being 100% worthy. Interesting. Mm. I thought that was a that pretty is, interesting theory. That is really interesting. That's solid. kind of weird, though. I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, like let's, I don't let's know weigh if, this like, really quick. He held that secret... So that one, Tony wouldn't fucking execute Bucky, and two, so that Tony like wouldn't. I think it's like feel... to spare his feelings. Yeah, I felt it was more to spare. Like I feel like it was in more of like a nice way for like both sides. Yeah, but I like, mean, why would, fuck why would Steve just like they... randomly be like, oh, by the way, I have this idea that my <laughs> best friend killed your parents. Just how do you, how do you quick. feel? Just wanna... about how do you feel about that, by the way? <laughs> what, what feelings does this open up? 
It was, uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> but, like, then there's also, like, the conflicts that they went through in the initial Avengers that makes you think, like, hmm... Like, these guys kind of butt heads a little bit, you know what I mean? I don't think they did... Uh, I can't remember, I'm gonna watch the movie, like, actually, it's like the next movie I watch in the re in the rewatch. Uh, but I don't know if they ever did in Age of Ultron, but I know they definitely did in uh, Avengers, the, fir the first one. It's like, oh, uh, we're not soldiers, or... Your dad would be so ashamed or some shit like that. So. Uh, what do you mean? Like them arguing? Yeah, them just like arguing. Like he's like, put on the suit. You're nothing without that suit. He's just like, yeah, well, you're a drugged yeah. up soldier. <laughs> shit like that. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, they definitely butted heads in the first one. In so Age of Ultron... I can't remember um, if they did in Age of Ultron. I, I just remember Cap saying language. Language? <laughs> no, they did. They did by heads. Yeah. You remember the scene where Steve literally fucking shattered a log in half with his bare hands? They're arguing right there, and I can't even remember what about. Um, I don't think that was, like, against each other. I think that was, like, what? Like, about, like, what their next move should be, like, or what they should like be doing no but i feel like there was against each other because the fuck <laughs> he literally split that shit in half he was pissed yeah i forgot that was that movie dude that was fucking i remember seeing that i was like am i gay why <laughs> <laughs> <Bye>, panic <laughs> yeah i'd love to see it <laughs> it's like my <laughs> you know what i just figured out too we me kelly and janelle uh no fuck off we just sh shut the fuck we just uh watched kill bill and there's so many sound effects in that movie that i didn't know were from that movie like that we were we were da -na -da -na, or some shit like that that little fucking siren noise that's from kill bill and when you said by panic that's what that reminded me of because there's just a fucking siren in my head. <laughs> oh, the by panic that he feels. Felt. Felt. Wait a minute. <laughs> I've decided uh, conclusively I am a uh, straight you're gay. man. Uh, you're, you're gay. Gun. You're a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> You catch you lacking, it's bad. It's bad. Yeah, I know. It's Only okay, for... Honky's gay too. What? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's all done. We're <laughs> making these rash accusations. <laughs> what, what are we talking about? <laughs> What are we, what are we talking, talking about? about? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so fucking dumb. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, no, only for uh, Ryan Reynolds and Chris Pratt and uh, Chris Evans and Stephen Amell. Oh, all the Chris's. All the Chris's. <laughs> yeah, honestly, all the Chris's. Uh, Paul Rudd. That's a good one. Oh my god. Just list every fucking Grant Marvel Gustin. hero. Grant Gustin's are he's more of a brown. He's, he's a little he's kinda skinny, you know. Yeah, he's he's, he's on the he's on the squatty side. He's definitely a runner, a track star, you know what I'm saying? What about Cisco? <laughs> what the fuck? Cisco <laughs> like a decent I guess that vibe. <laughs> <laughs> That is some yeah. fucking uh <laughs> This man really did the fucking laugh emoji. I'm kidding. Laugh emoji. <laughs> <laughs> you what <did>. the fuck? <laughs> just turned that shit off for a second. That was wild. <laughs> nah, um, as far as like... Oh my gosh, this is a, this is a decent topic to have. Um, hottest DC slash Marvel uh, protagonists protagonists uh you have to say protagonists all the bad guys are like fucking 
in like anything. Always what the bad. fuck are you? Okay, yeah, who, who? Jason uh, Momoa, though. It's it's mostly in like animes, actually. Yeah, that's well, like, the say. antagonists are always like, whoo. Yeah, the protagonists are also whoo, but like, you love them. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I I think as far as this fucking marvel shit goes uh or no sorry dc stuff goes um there's no fucking hot uh antagonist everyone's like oh harley yeah. quinn yeah no not harley quinn i don't think she's attractive honestly. what she's pretty hot i don't maybe. honestly no nah. like at first i was like mm, yeah maybe i'm into like, it and then i'm just Margot like Robbie nah. or harley quinn uh, I I Mario haven't like Robbie looked. Is very hot. Mario I haven't like looked into her other than Harley Quinn, so I'm just gonna say you Harley seen Quinn. Wolf of Wall Street? No, I have not. What? Have really? I never seen. Wolf yeah, I have not. I have not seen that movie. I don't care to see. Because Matthew McConaughey's in it, he's scared. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> scared. <laughs> scared, <laughs> scared of what? <laughs> <laughs> the bi panic. The bi <laughs> <laughs> For Leo and Matthew, come on. And come then Margot, come on. Jonah Hill, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, isn't that the movie where Jonah Hill's in the phone booth and he's just like, "Hey, yeah, I fucking quit." <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Wasn't that the one? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's yeah. one yeah. He's like, what if I gave you $5,000 right now? It's like, I quit my job. Here's $5,000. <laughs> yeah, I fucking quit. That, no, that didn't, that's not how it went down. Well, I don't know. i never seen the movie. I just... <laughs> <laughs> that's the most genuine response. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... <laughs> So antagonist in Marvel, Michael B. Jordan mm. as Killmonger. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, everyone always fucking says that, dude. Mysterio can get it, all right. Mysterio uh, is a. I don't. He's a good looking okay. guy. I don't know if I liked him so much in that movie. Yeah, true. Let's we'll see I, if I, that like matters stuff. Let's see if that saucy, mad though. titan has that fucking mad titan, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You know what's funny, actually? So in the rewatch of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy... Like mad titan? More like dad titan. <laughs> 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 Thank you for interrupting me for that. That was, that was super necessary. No, that was good. That was, I'm, not, I'm not even upset. That was good. <laughs> um, fuck. I, oh, no, I lost my train of thought. Fuck. No, no, no. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I, Janelle obviously didn't know this because she's fucking illiterate when it comes to Marvel. I, I, okay. I, I, incompetent, I want to say. I don't know why I say illiterate. <laughs> incompetent. Uh, shut the fuck up, Alyssa. Uh, I up. <laughs> in that scene where Drax is like petting uh, Rocket to like comfort him, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. she didn't know like how that was shot, so I looked at the picture. <laughs> Just fucking. Bradley Cooper in the fucking green suit. Oh yeah, <laughs> that shit looks so. Fun. Oh my god, that's like my favorite thing for any movie, like in <laughs> Twilight. <laughs> oh yeah, the <laughs> petting uh, Jacob's character, and he's the wolf. But then the behind the scenes is just her petting, um, whatever his name is. Yeah. Taylor Lautner. Yeah. <laughs> or like the fucking any scene Thanos is in, it's like the scene where Thor is uh stabbing into Thanos. It's just a fucking like the dude's <laughs> body and then like a dumbass looking head on top of his head. Well that's so great. <laughs> so Bro. weird how fucking movies are filmed with cgi and yeah shit. like i actors are actually insane because how do you keep a straight face with that <laughs> right it wasn't wait 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 scenes 
scenes with group shot images i want to see how they filmed group because i don't know if vin diesel is in this like actually in it or if they just somehow put him in the they might have used someone else yeah i mean there's a possibility vin yeah. diesel you think Vin Diesel's gonna walk around in one of those little suits? I I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> this is fucking. <laughs> it would be is, nice. <laughs> there's this fucking picture. Of, oh no no no! It is a different person in a green suit. <laughs> no, I knew it. <laughs> How do you keep a straight face here, dude? The shot with fucking. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Wait up. I'm I'm showing you guys this shit. Wait up. Oh, thank God. I didn't want you to have to tell me what to look up. I wasn't going to look something up. Yeah. Let me add that shit for you guys. Hey, where's my fucking... Oh, there it is. And just share your screen. No, I'll just uh, fucking... Yeah, I'll just do this here. I thought this said there cookie is. clicker, but it's cookie clicker. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. one, that guy oh. that... <laughs> so the guy who's... You guys can't see it for the fucking audio version of this, obviously. But it's the scene where Groot is like putting his vines up that alien's nose. That guy looks so pissed to be that alien, for starters. And yeah. he's on stilts. And, and for two, Bri Bradley Cooper looks fucking <laughs> cracked out of his mind. That's not Bradley That's Cooper. That's not Bradley Cooper. Isn't that his fucking... Is that not Bradley Cooper? Wait. Oh, no. Fuck? Rocket... <laughs> Rocket that's record. the that's the guy that's in Gilmore Girls. Actor. What the fuck? That plays Kirk. It says Bradley Cooper. Well, he's probably the voice, but he's not in that suit. Wait. Yeah, that's absolutely not Bradley Cooper. Oh, you're absolutely right. That is not Bradley Cooper. I don't. I'm not sure what he looked like. Wait. Rocket. You don't know what Bradley Cooper looks like? Not off the top of my fucking head. I'm bad Have with you faces. Have ever seen any movie ever? I'm only good with people I absolutely love and absolutely hate. I can see I Nicolas Cage from a mile of fucking way. Oh, because you absolutely love him, right? Because I... Oh! <laughs> 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 back to the last episode. Let's get into it again. Actor Sean Gunn. So that's who Rocket is in the suit. Well, Sean Gunn looks fucking cracked out of his god. Like, look at Chris Pratt. <laughs> like, he's just like, uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, Sean Gunn is the dude that was in Gilmore Girls. I know this. My mother was obsessed with that show. Mm -hmm. Well... Yeah, so that's uh, that's the Rocket and Groot experience. Um, <laughs> another, oh, well, you know, what? Let's, let's get back to the fucking actual topic that yeah, this all was. was uh, Spider Man No Way Home. Three Spider Men and three Spider Men that we know and love uh, very love much. Do you not? Do you not like? Oh, you don't even like Tobey Maguire, do you? I hate Tobey Maguire. Oh my god, dude! How do you hate the first? Sp oh my god! Because he's it wasn't the even worst the Spider Man. They me. Yeah, back in the day, it was like a two. <laughs> they love me. <laughs> Pizza time. Come on, bro. Yeah, like back in the that was a fucking two thousands movie. They had to have pizza. They had to have good Spider Man. It's just anytime he's Oh Peter Parker, of the yeah. Suit. Peter Parker. Yeah, Peter Parker was not his strong suit. Spider Man no. was decent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree with Um that. Andrew Garfield was a good uh I think, it was, I think it was a good Peter Parker, but I don't know about Spider-Man, yeah. actually. Spider -Man. Who was... Um, Emma Stone was in it, too, right? With him? Mm -hmm. Yes, she was didn't she? Or, yeah. No, she, she was, was Gwen Stacy. She was Gwen, yeah. She was Gwen. Yeah. And she fucking died, so... <laughs> we'll see how yeah. that goes. <laughs> so, like... Yeah. 
That was a brutal I thing, think, too. I think he was a good Spider-Man. Like, he still had, like, the... Like, not quirky. Like, the funny playfulness while he was Spider-Man. And, like... Mm-hmm. I right. Think he was a little too... He wasn't, like, cool when he was Peter Parker. Because he was Like, they made him look like he was bullied and shit. Right. No. Like, see... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, as fucking... Uh... As fucking Peter Parker, he was too, like, one, attractive, too fucking yeah, yeah. built. Like, he just wasn't the nerdy but fucking... Tom Holland yeah, is also really attractive. Well, yeah, he because he's also a fucking great... Like, he's such a good Peter Parker in, in turn fucking Spider-Man. Like, he play, yeah. he plays both parts to such he's perfection. Really I best. literally mm-hmm. can't... Yeah. Like, he's such a, like, I, I would push that kid at school. And you know what? <laughs> He'd find a way to bully me with webs later on. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, like, the fucking Flash shit. Like, Flash, uh... Well, that's his name, right? Flash? Is it Flash? Yeah, Flash, Flash Dash? Some shit like that? Um, Flash, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he fucking bullied the shit out of him. He's like, give me your car. He's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> And it's just so fucking funny. And, like, he's so human, too. I don't know. It, it, that's what uh, Andrew Garfield just kind of lacked, is, like, the dorky aspect. Like, more... Yeah, like, fucking... they gave him, like, not necessarily dorky, but, like, the nerdiness. Like, they showed how smart he was and... True. All that, like, nerdy. But he didn't but get bullied he for it. <laughs> too, he was just too, like, attractive to really look like a nerd. True. You yeah. know, we don't get much of how nerdy this one is tom holland's character though yeah Yeah, we do they were gonna build the death star in the first spider-man out of legos Legos. yeah just in the first spider-man but like the second one definitely not no because in that one they were taking the the tour around the world because they were in a fucking uh they're in the not mathletes but the debate no the, yeah, the debate team. Was it a debate team? I don't fucking know. It, it was something it was, um, to do with school. And it was like an extra. Decathlon or something? Yeah, something like that. And so, like, you can definitely see, like, Peter's on the nerdy side. Like, in, in, during uh, PE or whatever, he's not, like, very physically inclined. or he's mm. But he's, like, also holding back because obviously he's Spider Man. But, like. Mm. Right. Um, it's just, it's, I think it's crazy. I think he is such an amazing medium. And he's also very trusting. Like, with the, Mysterio is actually, like, my favorite, <coughs> sorry, he's my favorite villain uh, in the MC right now, I think, because he played such a fucking insane part in, uh, in that. Another thing with fucking Tom Holland, though, he, I have never related so much to a character than in that movie. Like, holy shit, like, everything with, uh, mm-hmm. MJ and the oh, other yeah. guy, I was just like, bro, I, <laughs> I've been there, man, <laughs> I get it, I, I understand, I'm sorry. Like, when he was, like, just leaning back in his chair all depressed and shit, I was like, oh, Tom. Oh, Tommy. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, he was so sad. So like, I don't know, just way more of a fucking Peter Parker in my opinion. Uh, I don't know how the so in the teaser trailer they showed all three Spider Men, but they showed the yeah. they showed uh the Green Goblin from uh Tobey Maguire's. They showed well, they didn't, uh, hold on. so the only villain they showed was doc ock they showed the little bomb thing from green goblin they didn't actually show him didn't they show in the teaser i don't in the teaser i maybe yeah but like i don't know if that was like a legit thing because it looked like the one i saw was like super low quality low resolution i didn't it felt like it might have been fan made like i was unsure because of how unprofessional it looked right. yeah that's what, like it looked like they were really just like throwing the uh movies together like for a trailer like it didn't Kinda, feel yeah. like they really like produced anything new mm-hmm. 
but, but like, at the same time, in, like, in the they actual... had to, because there's a lot of parts that were obviously not in the movie. But, like, in the actual trailer trailer... So they only showed Doc Ock's face. They showed Green Goblin's bomb. And did did they show any other villains? Was there another villain? There was the electric one that they've also shown. Oh, yeah. From okay, Andrew um, Garfield's. But of the Spider-Mans, Tom Holland is the only face you see... You don't see Andrew or no. Toby. You do. You see two. You see Toby's. Actually, no. You do see both in the mm. teaser. Wait up. Faces. You don't see yeah, anyone's right face. Let me see. I'm, I'm watching you right now. Right now. Are you? I have to like mute my shit because I've because <laughs> uh, the podcast will just pick it up. Oh, did another one come out? Yeah, I was gonna also say that the. Uh... Oh, oh my god. Have I still not seen it yet? I just realized that. Teaser. That's screen and culture. Delete, Don't even buddy. fucking trust that. Oh, never mind. IGN official trailer. Okay, so that's. Okay, that's not what we want. Spider Man. Teaser. Trailer. Uh, no way home official teaser. Is this the teaser? Why do I feel like this is not the teaser? Oh, maybe it is. Let me meet that shit really quick. Ooh, huge. Love that. No, this is this is a way different trailer than what I saw. God damn it. This is not the same. Oh, here it is. Oh, Peter has the fucking the black suit. The one that looks like the Venom one from Tobey Maguire's movie. Yeah. But I don't it's not Venom. Venom, Venom, Venom. Bro, I can't even. I don't. I can't even find the uh teaser anymore. Wait. Iron Man for the Resurrection teaser trailer. Excuse me. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Downey's done with his role. He did a really good yeah. job. It's okay. I okay. wish there would be another Iron Man. Yeah, but there doesn't need to be. All the Avengers are gone now, so. Uh, on the topic of the Avengers, uh, how, how do we feel about Falcon being the new captain? Spoilers, um, spoiler. I think it's cool, but I feel like they, nah, dude. it was like accurate from accurate to the comics, right? Yeah, so in the comics, I mean, it might actually go both ways. Like, it could have been Bucky, it could have been uh, Falcon, but I think most of the comics are Falcon. Okay, so I think it's cool. He's got the right heart for it. I just wish, in the show, he would have taken the serum. Uh, like, see, I feel like nah. it's really hard to equal up to Captain without having that serum. Well, he also has fucking wings. <laughs> like, I don't yeah, think he's, he like, wings, losing but he, much. But he needs the strength. Like, come on, what if someone fucking rips off his wings like they did in the earlier movie? Or, was that at the beginning of the show? No, that was uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. Bucky ripped them shits off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What if that fucking happens again? Like, then... Well, there's, like, a lot of preventions. That's, like, saying what happens if someone fucks up Iron Man's suit. You know what I mean? Like, Iron Man is still Tony Stark. He'll figure out something. Mm -hmm. It's a regular but dude I, I just think suit. it would really add more to him if he took the serum. Like, I don't know. No, I feel like I feel like he's... And also, I was thinking about this is. just the fucking, like... I don't know, today, yesterday, whenever the fuck, recently... So, the serum, a bunch of people take it in the show, right? I guess but, so, yeah. 
but like none of them get super bulked and crazy juiced like Steve. Does. Crazy juiced. <laughs> they they just get strong and mm, like their personality enhances or something. But Steve, he like grew fucking three times his size, got hell on muscles, and like grew well, fucking a foot taller. There's a reason for that. It so was the like reason, a, no. So the version. reason for yeah. So the reason for that is because the uh, first initial one that was made was the one that Steve had taken, uh, mm -hmm. and every single serum after that has been like someone else trying to recreate that. Right. So, uh, the perfect soldier is Captain America, and they call him the perfect soldier because he is the perfect, like, the pinnacle right. of what that serum can do. Huh. So. And so, the ones that, like, Bucky and the other Winter Soldiers had, that wasn't the same one. That was, like, more similar to the Falcon Winter Soldier ones, right? Um... Yeah. So sure what it is was um what so Red Skull was trying to recreate the Captain America serum and then he made all the they was it Red Skull? No, Red Skull didn't uh try to recreate the serum. He tried he tried to be the first one to take it before uh mm -hmm. Steve because the doctor was German, so he tried to take it from the doctor. Mm hmm yeah. So who who made all the Winter Soldiers? Uh, that was still Hydra, but not um. Okay. But not, not Red Skull because he he was dead. Yeah. So the Winter Soldiers, uh, the only one that came out was Bucky, and that's pretty much because of the Doctor. Um, the other Winter Soldiers, I don't know if they died the right off the bat or if they died in their cryo sleep. No, but... you saw them die in Civil War. They were all in cryo sleep, and then um, I think I what's his fuck name? shot them probably. Yeah, Zolo? he shot them all. But no, yeah, not Zolo. Zolo. Jesus, not not Zolo. Zemo. Zemo, yeah, he shot them all through the glass when they were yes. in cryo sleep. Yeah, before they even showed up. Alyssa, yeah, so... anytime you'd like to chime in on this, that'd be nice. Um, you guys were just going ham. <laughs> going <laughs> ham, baby. <laughs> I was just gonna interject uh, afterwards or whatever. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Good excuse, gotcha. Wait, is Zolo the doctor? Or... Oh, Zemo. Zo Zemo is the, the, um, Zemo's the guy that... Uh, we'll see. I don't even know these names. So... Yeah. And the name of the doctor is Zolo? Yeah, Dr. Zolo was the one, was the Hydra yeah. agent that... Yeah, so he's uh, the one that recreated the serum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then in Falcon Winter Soldier... They recreated his recreation. Um. Yes. Sure. Yes. So. Uh, after the snap, I think I think there is a stem of people who were doing it, and no one was really making any repercussion to that, because no one was really around to do so. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So, uh, they made the recreation of that, and the one chick took it, and whatever, I think. Our agent fucking took it. But, yeah. But, like, it's obviously different, because fucking Cap got that shit injected, and all they had to do was, like, drink it, I think. Um. I think there was remember. a needle. Yeah. Well, I, I can't remember. Um... I was just telling my dad that I was going to have a marathon by myself of all the Marvel movies. <laughs> Marvel, do, do, do. So you pay attention some more. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'd love to watch it with everyone else, like anybody, but no one's going to binge it like I would. Yeah. Well, like, like do like a few a day or something, or just like... Oh, yeah, knock some out, have it in the background while I'm gaming or something, you know? See, how do you fucking pay attention doing that? Because I can listen to it while... And then if it's something I don't remember, then I'll look and actually pay more attention. I think Venom was in the trailer. Venom? Uh... Like well, that wouldn't make any fucking sense, video. though. Why not? 
That hurts. Is there so a bad, second the Venom? Way. Yeah, Carnage is coming out. coming out. When? I don't know. It's weird I'm that it's that. so interesting. Yeah, it's so weird how there's a fucking Spider-Man and Venom movie coming out that have nothing to do with each other. Yeah, no weird, but yeah. <sighs> um. That would be dope, though, if Venom was in. Venom wasn't a super great movie. Really? No. I'm partial not. because of Eminem's song, but also I just really well, yeah. liked the movie. I didn't. I didn't like it too much. I. I all I, I can say. I was really like, loved okay, the his the characters. Is super yeah. fucking lame. Really. Yeah, yeah, he looked he looked like fucking tech support for your fucking rice cooker or something. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so lame, dude. Like he was like yeah. he talked to like uh is it Mark Zuckerberg, the one that's like, so if you were to disobey me, uh you, that that, right? Oh, is that, is the, that him? No, yeah. that's not Mark Zuckerberg. Jesse that's, Eisenberg. Jesse the character Eisenberg that you're talking about though, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like that's a, so. If you, I I, I love Jesse Eisenberg <laughs> for that though. <laughs> nah, dude, I it, he was so but fucking yeah, I get lame. That. Yeah. And then I also didn't like one. I didn't. This is the first movie, Marvel movie that's come out that I didn't like the fucking Stan Lee cameo in. Oh, what was his cameo? It was at like the very end. He's just like, "Hey, you make sure you hold on to her, or you'll you get her back now, or something like that." And it's like, "We will." And it's just like, "Who the fuck is we?" <laughs> it's like, that was about it. Like, there's a lot of like subtle things and like a lot of funny parts where Stanley came in. And, right. You know, I don't know. Not many of his cameos he's talking in, right? Uh, there is a line in most of them. Yeah, he, he does. The Guardians of the with... Galaxy one he does in, right? Because he does. I actually completely cuts... forgot where he That's was right. in Guardians of the Galaxy. Wait. Uh, oh no, he, he was, didn't have a line. It was at he the beginning when when they first got yeah, to the planet. Yeah. So Rocket was like bounty hunting and shit, so he was yeah. looking around before anyone met. Oh yeah. yeah and yeah, uh, yeah. he was talking to some girl, but he he didn't you couldn't hear what he was saying. Yeah. Right. It kind of made me uncomfy because that man was groping that woman. <laughs> he was <laughs> he was getting a handful of that chick. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the and only cameo that the I remember. <laughs> yeah. God, I wish that was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate seeing other people live your dream. <laughs> God, so good. Um, <laughs> so I can't even get that one. Um, me and Hector were actually just talking about how uh, we thought they nerfed the Guardians of the Galaxy and like Infinity War and Endgame and shit, but they were never that strong to begin with. Like Gamora is yeah, no. like nowhere near on par with fucking Black Widow. Yeah, no. Yeah, Drax is. Sauce. I mean, yeah. Quill. Quill's honestly the fighting. strongest. Uh, yeah, like, and in my opinion, he's really like really fucking smart. Yeah, he's actually super. A lot of it, I feel like, is just reliant on luck, though. Well, he's very strategic, like on accident, like oh, yeah. it's, like he, in the moment, he's very strategic on things. Like when he was fighting Gamora, he was kicking her ass. Yeah. That's why I'm like, okay, so she's nowhere on par with Black Widow, because Black Widow and would like wa wipe the fucking floor with Quill. <laughs> but like when like his whole plan when they fought Thanos in Infinity War, fucking all of it was just so fucking genius. Oh yeah, it was. And that was his plan. It and was like definitely his plan, yeah. I mean I and everyone f like shits on him because of the whole beats him up and like lose a gauntlet and whatever but like i don't know what would you do like he had a good ass plan he just ruined it because he got too emotional mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and i think that's like any plan really is just yeah. the emotional attachment yeah. 
But like, and like, I that's why I can't shit on him. He he did that. He just I don't know. I think it's really funny though. Like, they made him look smarter than the smartest fucking guy, Tony Stark. Right. I thought so. That comedic. I don't know. Uh. Um. But yeah, they they definitely didn't nerf the Guardians. I forgot how I caught. I was talking. About, I forgot how iconic the scene with the Power Stone was in the first Guardians. That yeah. shit was awesome, cause like, it it like was going one way and then it just starts reversing the other way and the music gets intense and you're like, oh fuck, <laughs> I feel this. Holy shit. You yes, said it yourself. To, We're the guardians um, of the galaxy, bitch. To be in that theater again during that movie, seeing it for the first time, I wish I was there. Yeah, I that wish. Would, that'd be pretty. I sick. wish I could. I be watched there it again. at home. I I never saw that one in theaters. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, again, I never even knew it was a fucking Marvel movie, so I watched that at home. Oh yeah. Wow. So. I don't even... I think I saw Iron Man 3 in theaters. I might have. But, like, that's where my little journey of Marvel began. <laughs> as I've said. Um, so... We got, like... Like, 15 more minutes. Uh, let's knock out some fucking embarrassing stories, shall we? I'm not going first. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You oh, just said you had a perfect one last because night. I don't know if I want that out in the world. Ugh. All right. Well, all right. someone's got to start so that we can kick up I'll... ideas for me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's kick up ideas for me. So yeah, not cause... you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. Someone's got to start. Not me. <laughs> oh my god. Wait up. Uh, there we go. Oh, All right, so I changed my Discord number to zero one two three because I was trying to think of something clever to change it to since I pay for Nitro, and <laughs> zero one two three is mine and Alan's anniversary date. Isn't oh, that weird? That's so that's so cute. Wow, that's so cute. Wow. Zero, one, two, three. That's so okay. Cute. Okay, so I'm <laughs> one. Hector's two. Woo! You're three. And we started dating in 2021. So it's. Oh zero, look at that! One, it's two, three. three. Oh look two, at that! One. It's. Shut the fuck up! Oh my god! It's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I rolled a three-sided die and it landed on you, Alyssa. I what? That's not. <laughs> <laughs> As I said not me. So roll a two flip a coin. Roll a die, that's two sides. Flip a coin. You were honk. Honk his oh, heads, fuck. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that makes sense, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> it just does. Fucking fine, alright, it's flipping. I wanna chose Tails Finn. It Fuck! Wait, if I chose Tails, does that mean I go or does that mean he goes? That means you go. Motherfucker. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Um. <sighs> All right. Let's start with this one time I was in middle school, right? And I was dating this high school. I was dating a sophomore when I was in eighth grade. I thought I was I had the biggest penis in the fucking world for that. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah. No, I was really happy about it. Uh, she was kind of fucking dumb. Uh, hopefully she's not listening to that. Ooh. Whatever. Or he. I don't. It might be a he now. I'm not sure. It um, might be a he. They might be a he. <laughs> <laughs> um. But anyway, so we were dating and whatever, and like she was like super into fucking Evan. <laughs> this is so cringy. Oh my god. <laughs> I really don't want to finish. Just listen this. to you. <laughs> 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 oh my god, it's gonna be so cringy. Okay, she really liked Eminem and she really liked Mockingbird by Eminem. And like, uh, when we were breaking up and shit, like, she was telling me, like, oh, I'm this, I'm that, and whatever. I'm like, I'm not even, 
I'm not any of those, and like I kind of made it rhyme and shit like that on the way. Like when I was texting her back, I was just like, I just rapped on you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I saw the message. It was like such a long message and it all rhymed. <laughs> and, I was just, and I was just, uh, and uh, when I that's said, so well, I literally said, that's a rap, bitch. And like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and, and all I could think about when I said, that's a rap, bitch, was just like, I shouldn't have to rhyme these. Words in a rhythm for you to know it's a rap. Know it's a rap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so that was. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, that was my, uh, my cringe. Um, That's good. That's please, good. someone else take over. <laughs> 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 oh my god. She's <laughs> really like smacking She's really like smacking her fucking desk over this <laughs> holy shit. Oh my god. Oh. Hector, please, Hi. for the love of god, please. have a story that comes on par with that. Oh, my neck. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I don't know. I want to think of something other than the one that I had in mind from last night. Dude, I just told you one of the worst. Like, off the bat. You have to. Like, whatever you got, you got to say it. Oh, man. I guarantee it's probably not as bad as what I just said. Okay, fucking, I really don't want to tell you guys this, though, because I know you'll never fucking stop giving me shit about it. Okay. Well, <laughs> again, <laughs> do you seriously think Ellis is going to drop what I just said? <laughs> no. Oh my god, Alyssa. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright. <laughs> yeah, what do you what is your fucking story? Okay, so you both have to agree to This is not a podcast. Anyone can play this back. Just never bring it up to me ever fucking again. I'll you know, I'll certainly you know try. I will agree to trying my hardest slash <laughs> only allowing myself once. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I guess I can accept Sam this term. And she fucking agreed, like, yeah, it never happened. Fucking. Oh, this is the last. This is that bad, really? I mean, mm -hmm. I was pretty fucking embarrassed. Did you, like, uh, rip ass when you were putting it in or something? Like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Okay. So, last night, um. Well, I got put in a mood and whatever, so I start drinking a bit. Except I'm drinking a lot of bit. Oh shit! I had two drinks, two mixed drinks, both with vodka, and both I poured so heavy, mm -hmm. like four shots in each at least, I think. And fucking, I drank them super fast too, uh -huh. and I don't know. I wasn't really feeling like super super drunk. And then what, Sam's just chilling on the bed. I'm chilling in my chair. She's watching TV or, or watching. And then, like, I go to bed and I lay down next to her. And then, like, I don't know, I pass out at some point. And then next thing I know, I wake up middle of the fucking night. It's fucking... <laughs> this is where it gets bad. And it's fucking weird and it's fucking gross. Please don't ever fucking... Oh, I, I know what you did. I I slept walked sleepwalked. Oh, never mind. 
I was mm-hmm. standing up over my bed, and I was just taking a piss onto my bed. Oh! I was drunk, sleepwalking. Oh, and no. I Did fucking... you pee on her? No, I didn't pee on her. I was... It was, like, on the uh. corner. But, like, I guess I slept walked and thought that I, like, walked over to the bathroom in the toilet. But, like, I wake up, and Sam's just like, wake up, wake up. Baby, what are you doing? Wake up. <laughs> and I'm just like, I, like, open my eyes, and, oh like, I God. see what's going on, kind of, but, like, I'm drunk as shit, and, like, I'm tired as shit, and I don't know what the God, fuck is whatever. happening. Whatever. I was just like, what? <laughs> and then, like, uh, I'm, I, I can control my pee, so I can just, like, stop it on command. Oh, my, that's impressive. Yeah, it's, it comes in handy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently. Yeah. So, so yeah, I stop myself and I'm like, what? What the fuck is going on? And then, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Just imagine I've... the panic in Sam's fucking eyes. <laughs> like, baby, what are you doing? Up to you pissing on the bed. Literally, That's I woke so up hot. To myself standing over my bed, <laughs> pissing on it. And. <laughs> I just. What was I thinking? I don't. <laughs> no, I. I've done that twice before. Similar, not what? under any influence. I've had a dream. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> when, yeah, I've never talked about it because it's embarrassing. <laughs> but <laughs> I had a dream where I was using the restroom, mm. and then immediately after I used the toilet in the dream, I'm like, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I wake up and I realize that I'm currently peeing. God. And but it's like while you're still myself laying have down to clean. In bed. Yeah, yeah, I'm still I, laying I've, down in bed. I will That's say I've had the moments. I will say I've had the moments where I have in, been in a dream needing to take a piss or something like that. But by the mm-hmm. time I get to like the the toilet in my dream. I'm like, wait, this is a dream. I need to wake myself up. Wake up, you stupid bitch, and I wake up. Right. I have I have like really good control over like my dreams, I think. I mean Hector even told me the other day like mine are super fucking detailed. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm pretty laughs> detail. Yeah, so I mean I, I don't really have that pro- like I there's no way in fuck I've ever slept walking just straight up pissed on the bed. Like uh, Dude, that's no, that's yeah, a new mine level. wasn't sleepwalking. Mine was, was just during a dream. <laughs> I've only sleptwalked once in my life, and in my sleepwalking thing, for some reason, I was like following this little baby angel thing, and I and mm. I was and I was like young. I was like a kid, uh, and I was just like walking through our hallways, I guess. And I think my mom found me, uh, put me back. But yeah, that's the only experience I have like that. For you to say that, that's pretty wild in itself. I don't think that's embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Like, I, we've really? all been there for the really? dream-wise thing, I'm sure. But, like, I, I think just the funniest part of that is just Sam's reaction. Yeah, Sam being there. <laughs> uh, I mean, chick. I was pretty embarrassed about it. Well, yeah, well, you're yeah, right in front of your fucking right girlfriend. She's right there, you know, she'll yeah. wake you up. <laughs> She's like, oh, do I have to take care of this dude in my old age? <laughs> and you had to clean up the bed before you could. Oh, it's so sad. Yeah, I fucking straight away just started tearing my sheets and shit. Yeah, off. I would. <laughs> oh my god. But like, she was super cool about it. She was like yeah. comforting me about it. She was like, "Oh yeah, it happens. Things happen. Blah blah blah." Like she could tell I was fucking embarrassed as fuck. Oh, how You're nice. Just, like, Is that why you like, guys posted each other today to compensate? <laughs> 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 no one I'd rather spend <laughs> time with Seattle with than my little piss baby. <laughs> you are a piss baby. No, I we, we agreed beforehand. You're not gonna call me that now, okay? No. No, no. I don't know, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's such You guys. <laughs> oh, 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 it's a so... turn. So, that... No, I did my turn. Yeah, no, so... you didn't. You stemmed off of hogs, well, was... and I did too. That's that's Stemmed not your own story. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, you need your uh, own, your own. Dang, bro, I don't know any. Let me let me think real quick. You could talk like, about damn, how I'm... you cry when you have sex. You could talk about how you. That's not a... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah, I'll talk about the throwing up. Um, <laughs> but you guys already know that. Um, a oh, podcast affair. Um, well, I was just trying to like poke for. Oh. Inspiration. Inspiration. Yeah, yeah, you've done plenty of embarrassing things, I'm sure. Um. Genuinely, no. Men you've been with? Okay, bestie, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> what about the fucking? What about like pre meeting us? Pre meeting you guys. Like something um, back in high school. Oh day. Oh dip. Give me a second, please. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I mean, I could tell another one, I guess. Yeah, go I'm ahead. I'm trying to think of another one. I, 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 I have a lot of these. <laughs> uh, another one that I have. So, I'm sure I've talked about this before, but I am deathly afraid of heights. I, like, just start getting dizzy anytime I get up super, super high, and I'm like... I feel like I'm gonna die. Like my heart is in my fucking toes. Um, mm-hmm. so I had the great idea back in fifth grade. Um, to we went to this thing called Pathfinder's Ranch, which was basically this like camp. Uh, we used for... to tell scary stories about that place when I was a kid. Oh really? That's, That's so awesome. funny. <laughs> yeah. Continue. So the best part of that place, I'll tell you right now, was horseback riding. Uh, this Ooh. this chick that I don't really fancy uh, now, I just remember like fucking ate shit off the back of a horse because he, because she like kicked its thigh or something like that, like a dumbass. <gasps> uh, she got she ate shit on the off the back of it. It's so awesome. Anyway, uh. My story is I had a very big uh, crush on this girl, and I had a crush on her since, like, the third grade. I don't know. I can't even remember if this is fifth or sixth. I, I don't even remember when this was now. But we went to Pathfinders, and I had this amazing idea to... There's, like, an obstacle course. Like, you climb to the top of this giant, uh like... Uh, kind of like an electric pole size pole with like all the, obviously all this harness gear and shit on. And then you have to like type tight walk over the log that's connected to it to the other side. And then you have to do this little obstacle course, blah, blah, blah. And then you get to take a zip line on the way down. And it's really, it's supposed to be really fun. The second I, I volunteered to be the first person to do it, to show off how masculine I was to this girl. For sure. I got up there and I shit my pants. I was <gasps> no. <laughs> You're saying actually, not. No, 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 no. I, I, I didn't, I didn't shit my pants, but I will say I was definitely oh, close. Oh, I, was... I thought, I thought, <laughs> I thought you know you really did. Oh man. That was... yeah, oh man. <laughs> But, uh, they, so obviously I was, I was frozen. I could not move up there. And like, I had my entire class of like 60 kids watching me be a little bitch on this pole. Uh And, uh, like they had this counselor that was like good at talking people out of stuff like, oh, just, uh, fall off and it'll catch you immediately. Don't worry about it. You'll be okay. And like, they had to say that like so so many times for me to actually do it like the other counselor is just like listen here buddy um jeff here is a professional all right like he's a professional you have you you, you just got to do your part now <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so that was yeah that's my little i was i mean i think about i think back at that so fucking much there's you know there's actually a part two to that story oh word yeah pathfinder was not a good time for this guy no (laughs) (laughs) no (laughs) 
So Maybe that's like why a... we were telling horror stories about it. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, some kind of either like a musical or something just came out around the same time that I was in whatever grade level that was. And so I was inspired to say the least. There's this little talent show and like you could like volunteer to like do shit. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was going to volunteer to dance. And... Uh, when they called up my name that I was gonna dance, they said, like, they fucking worded it so weird. They're just like, and I'll give it up for fucking Miles. He's gonna bust a move. I'm like, what? Bust a move. <laughs> He's gonna bust a move. And then immediately, I was, so I was in the back of this crowd of people watching these other people do shit, and, like, every single person turns their head <laughs> and looks at me. <laughs> I was so scared. I was like, "No, no, I, I give no. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay." <laughs> so yeah, there's a. Um, the first time that I had a one night stand was the most awkward thing I had ever done. Me being a baby, uh, whore. Let's baby say, born. Baby yeah, born. baby born. Little yeah, new, baby. new, new, yeah, newborn. First, first time. Um, and so he like lives not too far from me, but neither of us drove. So he ordered oh, wow. me an Uber because I didn't have a job yet either. Because right. I didn't have money, so he ordered me an Uber there. And then, oh wait, no, he picked me up. He had to Uber me home. Anyways, he picked me up. We get there. He's all like, do you smoke? I was like, oh, no. He's like, do you want to? He was like, well, sure. Why not? And I never smoked really before that. And it was a bong. So <laughs> oh. that was horrible, to say the least. And so I was just like immediately out of it. And we were sitting on the couch watching Superbad, I think. And I'd never seen it before, so I was fully engrossed in the movie. Like, just fully developed. I was just... And he's like, oh, you can, like, lay on me if you want. And so, like, I cuddled up to him. And then he's all like, that's a nice piercing to my lip ring. And I was like, oh, thanks. I get it. Like, I got it because I look like a child. Oh, wow. <laughs> You said, wait, you said that. You said those I said words that. exactly. I said those words oh, exactly. Oh no, <laughs> that's a fucking. Red and then flag he's all like, one. "Can you do anything fun with it?" And I was like, "Oh, I don't know." And he's like, "You want to find out?" And then like, went in for kisses. I was like, "Oh, word, okay." So oh, then, word. <laughs> so then you know it progressed and we went to the bedroom and this man's bed was so tall that he had a step stool to get up onto it oh wow like it was that's equity tall taller than like that's my equity. my waist like it was really tall that's not saying much mm -hmm. think, and he had think... like um massive candles I think that's where oh, my this obsession man was stems from. Them. <laughs> yeah, your obsession for <laughs> candles stemmed from this very embarrassing first encounter with a man. Um, we did you up make or... him a man, or did you, or was it he had had he already done stuff? Oh, I don't know. We didn't talk about it in detail. It kind of I met him that night and we hooked up. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was, um, like, a person you knew or something. Nope. Huh. Uh, at some point towards the end, um, during, like, you know, a head of a sort, he's all like, damn, where'd you learn how to do that? And I didn't know what to say, so I was like, my ex? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's the worst. The That's the worst fucking like, thing you could have said. <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> how to talk to men. Oh, that was like the most awkward experience I could have ever had. It was Damn. horrible. Yeah. I don't think that uh, super fucking compares to pissing the corner of the bed with your girlfriend in front of you. Or, <laughs> <laughs> or, <laughs> or for instance, uh, Pathfinder trip with shit in your pants, you know? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but you didn't actually, oh. so... Dude, I may as funny. well have. I was... <laughs> oh my god. I can't hear... Like, I, it's a blur, but it's also so vivid at the same time. Like, I don't know what <laughs> happened up there exactly. I just know it was bad. <laughs> um... I know I have more embarrassing stories, but I think I might actually save it for the uh, next podcast because I think it's about time we wrap this one. For sure. Um, for sure. Yeah, Hector has places to be. Alyssa doesn't have a life, but that's fine. Yeah, you guys are just going to game all night, huh? Yep. Yeah, I, I have to stay up until like 6, so. 6 a.m. Yep. Lady. Or you could go to sleep right now <laughs> and get a full eight hours. Nah. nah. <laughs> I'll be fine. If, if if anything, it's an excuse to fucking get McDonald's breakfast. Come on. Mm. <laughs> I, never wake, I never wake up early <laughs> enough for that. <laughs> they don't sell but, breakfast all day? No, they don't. Oh. Dude. Oh, if they do, it's only the McMuffin, which I love the McMuffin, don't get me wrong, but the McGriddle's where it's at. Mm, okay. Anyway, I gotta rip ass and eat ass. I got a lot of places I gotta be right now, so anyway, let's wrap this up. Alright, go ahead okay. and wrap it up. Alright, thank you guys for listening to this week's podcast. Hopefully we get a better uh, schedule and hopefully we get to do these on uh, Mondays from now on. If that's not the case, then we still will post it weekly. Uh, we do, we will set aside at least an hour every single week, but hopefully every single Monday. So you can even look forward to it this coming Monday. Um, also, oh, that was the third thing I'd never apologize for. Holy shit. Yeah, sorry the only two fucking things I've posted this, like, past month has been the last podcast and this one. So, hopefully more content will it's be coming soon. It's a new month. Soon. It's September now. Yeah, I gotta stream more and I actually have to find a new... I kind of want to find an editor for my VODs and shit because I'm really fucking lazy. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for listening and we'll see you guys in the next podcast. Bye. Bye.